Hey, this is how I got my first kiss from Arlene. Uh, the date wasn't going well up to this point. So I tried to impress her with a grape that I'd carry in my pocket at all times <laughs> for just such an emergency. And that actually rescued the date? Yep. After this, we were inseparable. It was love. Hmm. Maybe I could argue love as a psychological disorder, inducing irrationality in its subjects and leading to much reduced critical thinking skills. Oh God, grapes! He's gonna put it in his mouth. So nasty! If I never see another grape in a thousand years, it'll be too soon. Second love. Looks like this picture. I can do this. I can do this. I'm in love. Well, the upside is this was a truly amazing grape. The downside is I'm truly about to die. Who would have guessed I'd die trying to impress a woman? I guess a lot of people, actually. And it all started a few seconds ago. An ordinary second like any other. Until I tried to catch a grape in my mouth. Grapes. Man. Now the upside is... Okay, oh god, the grape is stuck inside him. This is as far as I go. There's no way I'm gonna reach down in his throat to get that grape out. We're too sick. Giving mouth to mouth to a mouth that just had a grape in it. So gross. But, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hey. I must really like this guy. I'm... I'm in love. I'm not dropping hammer. The movies, they make mouth-to-mouth -mouth seem super hot. But as part of CPR, he's pounding my chest hot enough to break ribs. I mean, it's nice, and I like her, but I'd just as soon go on, like, I don't know, a walk. I like dates where I don't end up in hospitals. It's a nice change of pace. Maybe if I just... Twisted your psyche into the monster you are today? Nah, no, man. This is the day Dad got hit on the head. Tell her. I'm so bad at not dropping hammers on people. <laughs> How you can get this job? Where's my... Oh, oh, oh. He's gonna... Honey, say, this is way better than attended school. Oh, which is what I am legally supposed to be doing right now. The sum of a square of the length of any two sides of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the square of the opposite side. <laughs> See, this is why I'm so into hard hats and head safety. It's very important. Blah! Boring old father issues? Gag me with a spoon. Come on, let's move along. There's got to be something less than Destry in here. All right, keep it together. If I can convince him that the hammer fell out of a, a passing airplane, then I'm home free. Hmm, that shouldn't be hard anymore. <laughs> Great grip. I like to make a poopy. That sure is making a funny face for some reason. Huh. How much that is out the mouth seal. Oh, wait. wait, am I real? Wait, is anything real? Huh. Where's my copy of Descartes when you need it? <laughs> okay, 
Maybe I wasn't clear before. I'm looking for a man who looks like this picture. Only he is an alive human and not two-dimensional. This is a representation of him. I don't know how I can make this more clear. Oh, if I put this on an agent's face, they'll think he's me. Then... Oh, man, it actually worked. I'm impressed with myself. Especially since he doesn't even look like me that much. I mean, I'm handsomer, right? I can do it. Okay, okay, see this picture? It actually works. Any comments on how this makes you feel, Ray? Huh. I'm beginning to feel empowered by how I keep escaping certain death. Listen, you are doing this wrong. <laughs> Ready? How come running in a man's head gets me out of breath? How come? Well, the situation. She had no response. Okay, maybe I will. Dear Mental Diary, <laughs> today is turning out to be a very unusual day. And also, I'm not sure if I'm really alive here or not. Weird, diary. Chess match. Uh, we won. It was all thanks to teamwork. Her chess smarts combined with my enthusiasm for whatever chess is made us unstoppable. This was a big moment for us as a couple. Were you breastfed as a child? Uh, doctor, we're here to talk about chess, not feeding babies from someone's chest. Ray, I know you've got a hidden issue, and I know we will unearth it yet. I can do this! I thought this was a checkers tournament! I'm in way over my head here! Oh, get darn it, Ray. It's hard to focus when you shout, ooh, sit, move, and blow an air horn every time I move a piece. I can it! Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh, I can't wait until she makes another sick move! Okay, okay. Ow. Dear Mental Diary. Rhonda, uh, my first girlfriend. Prom was a great night. Oh, I mean, except for the braces problem. Uh, but like most problems, we solved it by shaving her head. <laughs> uh, high school was a weird time for me. Yes, yes, very interesting. Uh, wait, who is Ted? Ted? 
I, I, I can't remember Ted. Maybe it, it was the janitor who, who wanted to be fired? Are we 20? Nope. Uh, where do we use it? Change in the future. Life to make Scotch. Oh, I'm filing a... Sometimes among my heels. I can do really like this yet. Oh. This isn't the magical night I was expecting. I knew I should have shaved my head. Ah, finally! We're finally here! What's this door? Behind it are my innermost secrets revealed? My deepest, darkest shame? Oh, even better! <laughs> This is the washroom, Ray. Ah, oh, man. Couldn't you have done that before? I don't want strangers peeing in my brain. Well, it's a little late for that. Also, good news, I didn't pee. Ah, oh, man. Now, here's the door with your innermost secrets behind it. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> you have a home early? What the heck is going on here? It's not what it looks like. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like this in 15 years of practice. Disgusting and highly incurable. This is amazing. Uh, Dr. Richards, please. I'll hold. Bob! It's me, Brom! I've got a bad case heading your way. Yep. Totally incurable. Straight into the rubber room. Yeah. Uh, hypnosis, yeah. I'm still inside his head, actually. There's all these robots with their skin to... Yes, I know it's long distance. Bob? I'm good for it. Anyway... Uh, we are going to see you at golf next weekend. <laughs> yeah, well, let's see your putting get out of that spot. Oh my god, is this an insane asylum? That's crazy! I I'm not insane! I've just got crazy stuff around me! Plus the magic hand that lives in my head. Well, m maybe I am a little crazy. <laughs> oh, hoarding maybe they can't see my extra legs. But they will all soon know my true spider form. <laughs> For I am the Black Widow, and the Black Widow is hungry. For men. <laughs> yes, the Black Widow is on the hunt for new flies. Come here, men. Come here, little flies. <laughs> Something interesting ever happened here. You'd think for a loony bean there'd been some excitement, but no. Just walking around a bunch of caged up sad people. I wish something interesting would happen. Just once. You need to stay in your s
Pearl. The perfect May. Well, that went surprisingly well. Now to escape the asylum itself without getting spotted. Now, while we need Lady Pearl. You saw him, didn't you? He's haunting me. He's saying such awful things to me. Such awful things. My imaginary friend is my imaginary fiend. My own worst enemy. And I can never be rid of him. You can see him, can't you? Can't you? Can't you get rid of him? I'm diving. To be real. Sure, if only I could stop imagining Joe. I could be rid of him. I could be happy again. I could go home to my family. But no. As long as he's here, I'll be here too. Why can't he just leave me alone? Why did I ever imagine I'm the biggest jerk ever in time in the first place? Oh god, why doesn't my imaginary friend like me? Because you wanted a friend to hang out with. Well, guess what, idiot? I existed even before you created me. And I'll exist after you're gone. I don't care. You make me hang out with you for stupid reasons, and I hate you. And also, guess what? My mother hates you too. You imagine me first thing every morning, and I ain't stupid. You try to be friends with me, and I would rather hang out with spiders or a rat than you, okay? Got a problem? You ain't my friend. I don't have to tell you anything. I don't like you. Got that, you loser. I hate you. I hate you more than anything in this damned world. Well, I... I have more things to do right now than talk to you. I hate you. I've always hated you spreading to everyone that we were friends. When I don't even like you, or your stupid mouth full of teeth, I never did. People say you only created me because you wanted a friend to hang out with. Well, guess what, idiot? I existed even before you created me. No, and I won't exist. Before. Look at this guy. He'd maybe be okay if I could get a drink or two into me. Heck, it doesn't even have to be wobbly pop. I'd give me right here for a nice cup of hot steam and tea. Oh, God. A nice cup of would really take me mind off of this jerk. Be friends with me. And I would rather hang out with spiders or a rat than you. I can't distract myself with irregular verb forms forever. It's time I face the truth. There's no point in digging up anymore. It's all downhill from here. The only way to make my mark in this world is to dig all the way down to the center of the earth. This tunnel shall be an eternal monument to my sad, sad feelings. Being good. Stupid bunnies. I'm way cuter. But do we ever just pwn a tea party for me? No. But Bunny goes missing and everything stops for years. Until Bunny shows up. It's practically unbearable. Oh my god. Did I just say that? I, I did. I just made a bear pun in my own head. I'm definitely losing my mind. When can we have tea? I'm so thirsty.
difficult. I'm Helmet? I'm pretty sure I'm Helmet. Putting needles oh, in ah, don't they get it? Dr. Crank has nutty mad eyes. If I see them, I'll hyperventilate, sending all sorts of air out of my body. I'm not joking, self. I'll do it. Breaks for lunch. I feel like we should have had a break for lunch at some point. Tender. Ah! Up a little. Oh, yeah. Feels good. Feels great. Feels amazing. I want more of this juice. Juice me up, baby. Fire combustibles and burn, burn exo them creations burn, burn rapid oxidation burn burn fire. What more? Well, it was worth a shot. Ha! No, I don't think I'm dirty on it. Another? Hmm, wrong sticker. This one. Second worst room. This is the second worst room I've ever been in. Cats seen better days. Most of them when it was alive, I'm guessing. The black well, one of Captain. Oh, Mr. Whiskers. You're such a pretty kitty. You never meant to leave me, right? That's right. And soon you'll be all stuffed and sewn and ready to stay with me. Forever. Does Mr. Whiskers want a mousy to play with? He does. Well, then Mama will have to find one for you. Yes, she will. The pretty speck. Wow. Her praise would mean a lot more to me if it wasn't so consistent and all-encompassing. Am I the first cat to get depressed from being praised too much? Is that in and of itself depressing? At least if I were alive, I could wish for the sweet release of death. Oh well, I guess I am pretty pretty. <laughs> Oil 
and water. I bet all the ladies will want to get with me when they find out I'm a dude with heated water. That doesn't work. One more. Doesn't work. That won't stick. Hmm. Long sticker. Hmm. Long sticker. Worth a shot. Doesn't work. No, I don't think I'm worth it. Down. Good. Maybe this one will do the trick. <laughs> no, well, it was worth a shot. <laughs> I still need more electroshocks. <laughs> 